Hi, this is Chad at Tweaktown, and we're bringing you the QL120 RGB Performance RGB Fan Kit that includes the lighting node core. In this kit, you get three fans rather than the QL140s where you only get two. But after we installed IQ, got everything set up, added the number of channels, made sure we had the right fan selected, we jumped into the lighting channel tab on the left of the software, and it drops you by default to the rainbow rainbow wave mode you've been watching so far. In that mode you can slow things down, you can speed things up, and you can change the direction in which the colors move. Next on the list is spiral rainbow. Again you can change the speed, you can slow it down, you can speed it up, and again you can change the direction of the lights. Rainbow mode is next, and we can slow this mode down, or we can speed it up so that you can see what it's all about. Color shift mode is next. Right now it's set to random colors. There is an alternating colors option, and those colors can be changed just clicking on a plot of all of the colors you could think of. You can also slow this mode down, and you can speed it up. Color Pulse comes next. It's at the moment displayed in random colors. You can pick alternating colors, and you can slow the mode down, and you can speed it up. Color Wave is next. Right now it's on random colors. Again, you can pick alternating colors if you'd like. You can change those colors, whatever you want to do. You can slow it down. You can speed it up. And you can change the direction. Next comes sequential. Right now it's using random colors to do its thing. You can pick colors. Right now it's got red, we go green, go blue. You can slow it down, you can speed it up, and you can change the direction. Strobing comes next. Right now it's on picking through random colors. You can alternate the colors. Again, pick whatever color you want. You can slow it down and you can speed it up. Rain being displayed in random colors right now. Again, you can pick alternating colors like with all the other modes. You can slow it down or you can speed it up. Visor mode. Again, in random colors at this time. You can pick alternating colors, change the colors all this on the fly. You can slow it down and you can speed it up. Next comes Marquee. In this mode you can pick whatever color you want it to be displayed in and you can slow it down and you can speed it up. Temperature mode. This is where you can pick between your CPU and your GPU to pick the color of what temperature you want to set in these boxes in the software and you can pretty much make it do whatever you want to warn you where your temperatures are an issue. Next is arc mode. Right now it's displayed in random colors. You can pick random colors and even go as far as to say I want yellow on the inner rings and the outer rings could be a pale blue. We can change the speed of this mode, slower and faster, and we can also change from clockwise to counterclockwise. Heartbeat mode. Right now using random colors, and you can see it pulses from the outside to the hub. You can change the colors to whatever you want it to be while it's pulsing. 
You can slow it down. You can speed it up. And you can change the way whether it's going outside to in or inside to out. Next is Palm. In this mode, you can pick random colors like what's displayed by default. You can pick static colors. You can change the ball color. You can change the background. But it blanks everything out. Or you can change the paddle color. In with this, you can change paddle directions. On both sides and you can slow it down and you can speed it up. Next comes color warp. In this mode you can slow things down right to a crawl or you can speed it up so we can see what the mode does a little better and you can change the direction from right to left. Rotary stack. This is a cool mode. Right now it's working in random colors you can switch over to alternating colors, again, picking whatever color you want that to be. You can slow it down. You can speed it up. And you can change from clockwise to counterclockwise. Infinity works its way across all three fans. Right now it's being displayed in random colors. We can switch over to the alternating colors again. Pick whatever we want it to be. We can slow it down. We can speed it up, and we can change from vertical orientation to horizontal orientation. Gate mode comes next. Right now, again, displayed in random colors. We can switch over to alternating colors. We can slow this down. We can speed it up. We can go direction up and down. And that's how that changes. Next comes ping, as it sends a ping down one side, comes back, it's right now in random colors, you can change the alternating colors, you can slow it down, you can speed it up, and you can change it from your fan orientations to going up or down. Last one is rainbow channel where it uses all three fans to display all the colors. You can slow this display down, you can speed it up, and you can change the direction from right to left. Well thanks, that's what we have for you with the QL120 RGB fans. We hope you enjoyed the video.